Ms. Hoff. Thank you. My name is Gina Hoff, and my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has compelled me to strongly oppose this evil bill. Since I have to assume none of you are hard of hearing, I can only conclude that some of you may be hard-hearted, for this is the same committee who heard hours of powerful testimony just two weeks ago on why abortion is murder. Sadly, some of you were unmoved by the powerful truth shared in defense of Bill 1079, which would have protected the unborn. So if there is nothing wrong with murdering an innocent child, why don't you use the correct terminology in your bill? You say women have a right to birth, to give birth, or to have an abortion. Well, you're right that the opposite of birth is abortion. The opposite of birth is death. Abortion is death. You conceal the truth because abortion is murder. It is evil the way you pretend that murdering a child is health care. What kind of health care deliberately kills a person? You do understand that approximately half of all the babies murdered during abortions are baby girls, right? You're concerned about women's rights, but wait, didn't you overlook something? How can a woman have a right to do anything if she's denied her right to live? Without the right to life, no other rights even matter. All of us will stand before God one day, whether you believe in him or not. As Romans 14, 12 says, so then each of us will give an account of himself to God. You don't create life and you don't have the right to take it away. Please vote against this wicked bill to simply give others the same right to life that you yourself enjoy. If you do pass this bill, that doesn't make it right. It only makes you partly accountable for the innocent bloodshed. I condemn your recklessness. I despise your lawlessness. And I praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who mercifully forgives all who trust in him of anything. And he judges and pours out his wrath on those who do not. I don't just care about the unborn. I care about each of you. And I tremble for your souls if you don't know him. This wicked bill some of you support is in direct rebellion against our holy God. Please, for your sake and all those lives who you can affect in your position, please humble yourself and turn to Jesus.